welcome to my kitchen. So today I want to show you how to um, make uh, seared sesame seed seared tuna steak and uh, coconut jasmine rice. So I got this uh, beautiful tuna at the market. Um, first you want to uh, look for the bright color. Um, this is big eye tuna. Ahi tuna will be a little bit more um, scarlet kind of. This is a little bit more darker um, red, uh, red and the bluefin tuna will be darker. But anyhow, uh, it shouldn't have like a brownish color at all. Isn't that beautiful? And the firm to the touch and it shouldn't smell. It's very clean. And um, this is a tip. So how to look for, to differentiate fresh tuna from a bad one. So when tuna or meat get old, they will have this um, rainbow kind of kind of metallic sheen to it on the surface. So you definitely want to avoid when when you see like a little bit of a metallic color to it. Okay. So I want to show you how to make jasmine coconut jasmine rice. It's gonna yield about it's gonna um yields about three to four people. Uh, you will need one and a half cup of jasmine rice, uh, one cup of chicken stock, one cup of coconut milk, like this. There is, and for that you will need two teaspoon of freshly, I mean the finely chopped uh, fresh ginger. Uh, two scallion chopped thinly and uh, two tablespoons of fresh cilantro chopped salt and pepper okay so I already rinsed my jasmine rice jasmine rice has really nice aroma it's it's floral and the rinse and you want to drain drain it really well okay so I am heating up my pan um, with one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to add uh, ginger to uh, uh, make it release, release the fragrance, okay? So meanwhile, I want to show you how I prep for tuna. So, Drizzle, it's about tea, one teaspoon each, so two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil. And you want to uh, season it really well. Um, almost like half teaspoon each. And then um, You want a sesame seed. I will use about a quarter cup. So what you do is you, I just mix a black sesame seed and and the white sesame seed, half and half. Okay. And then you want to just let it stick. This will create nice crust. I'll toast your rice a little bit to make it uh, until it get a little bit translucent. And later I'm going to show you how to uh, make ponzu sauce, quick ponzu sauce. It's good to shake your uh, 
um, coconut milk can really well before you open it, okay? And then I add a um, half teaspoon of sea salt. You wanna um, you want to season rice or potato really well, okay? First, you you want to bring uh, the liquid to rapid boil, then um, turn down the heat to medium low, and cook about. 20 minutes okay make sauce okay so this is a mixture of uh, freshly squeezed lemon juice and lime juice I'll start with one tablespoon this is a uh, regular soy sauce okay You have ponzu sauce to serve over uh, tuna. Heating up my pan, um, and I'm gonna sear my tuna. Okay, um, I put about uh, one tablespoon and a half of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so it's a little bit of smoke coming out of the uh, pan. The the so I'm, it's ready to sear the, the tuna. You wanna hear that sizzling noise. When you um, flip the tuna, tuna is uh, two pounds, so please be careful, don't um, splash hot oil over you, okay? I would say um, two minutes first side and minute and a half the second. Beautiful. Let it rest. But meanwhile, this is a recipe of how to make quick ponzu sauce. You will need two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice and lime juice. It's a combination of two. And you will need two tablespoons of uh, rice wine vinegar, two teaspoons of packed, lightly packed brown sugar, uh, one and a half tablespoons of regular soy sauce. So if you are using um, low sodium, you might want to add a uh, little bit of salt, okay? And uh, finish up with um, half tablespoon of uh, toasted sesame oil and a half teaspoon of sriracha sauce or any hot, hot sauce you like. Okay, so my rice is done. So, it is so fragrant. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of uh, freshy, uh, the chopped cilantro and two scallions chopped. This is my favorite. Mm. Creamy. 
needs it just a little bit. It's like a pinch of salt. You're gonna so love this. So for this, I am using jasmine rice and not basmati rice. You can use basmati rice as well. It's gonna get a little bit more um, light. Um, it won't stick like this. Anyhow, so tuna. You want to um, slice the tuna with angle. And go this like this motion. So you are not putting force in, in um, a lot of area, just so. You can make up like bed with the rice. And then one little plate for me. of the truth. Mm. You can taste a little bit of, just a little bit of poke, like hint of sriracha, sesame, Mmm, a little bit tangy to die for. Anyway, cheers. Mm. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. <clears throat> and um, I want to see you next time.